Coming out of Neville High School in Monroe, Louisiana, outfielder Rafe Rimes says it was always his dream to don the purple and gold. You know, I grew up watching you know, LSU baseball, and um, it's just something I, you know, I'd always wanted to do. I always wanted to play for LSU, I always wanted to be a Tiger, and um, so I decided, you know, pass on those, those opportunities to come walk on. Rimes tried out for the LSU baseball team in the fall of 2008. And Coach Paul Maneri says he was impressed with Rhymes during walk-on tryouts. We were about uh, four weeks into our six-week fall practice, and I had had him out there every day. He was one of the, I don't know if I had any other walk-ons even still out there. However, due to NCAA roster limits, Maneri could not offer Rhymes a spot on the team. You know, it's just when somebody tells you, you know, you can't play anymore, you know, it, it kind of, it hurts. But, um... I didn't let it get me down. Um, I definitely knew I wanted to play baseball. Rimes transferred to LSU Unis for the 2010 season, where he earned Junior National College Player of the Year honors. LSU came calling after the season, this time with a scholarship. The junior slugger has developed into one of the best players in the SEC, and third baseman Tyler Hanover says he's not surprised by his teammates' breakout campaign this year. You know, I just knew from there that he was going to succeed at any level that he was going to play at Dixie, just because he had that flat bat and uh, you know, he, could, he was a pure hitter, and so I knew he was going to have success. Beyond all the newfound attention, Rhymes' biggest accomplishment is following in the footsteps of his grandfather, a former LSU baseball player. You know, I visit with him anytime I can, and uh, anytime I'm going through troubles or anything, you know, he's uh, one of the person you know, I talk to, and um, not just about baseball, but you know about life. For Tiger TV, I'm Andrew Valenti.